Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. Welcome to Tea With Me Tuesday. I don't have my tea. <laughs> Left it in the kitchen, but that's okay. So I have been doing some rearranging in the house and some purging and unbelievable the kind of stuff that I've been doing. Um, I decided today while mom and I sat and I sat here with mom that I would sort through all the papers that I have, not the paper pads, although I do have a couple of paper pads right here that I found in my closet. But I've been, de I decided to go through all of the papers that I have accumulated and decided to put them in some sort of order and um this is the last uh bundle that i have to go through these two containers and these papers this if i can lift it is all of the papers that i have so what i did is i went through them and i decided to go well these are flowers these are cut apart, so I put that separate, kind of had this tray here to put them on because it kept tipping over. So I had a pile for flowers. I had a pile for whimsical, no place to put them. I had a pile for very pretty um, patterns that I liked. Then, of course, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween, uh, Easter, and um, I didn't separate spring and fall. Oh, fall I did. Fall I did separate those. Um, but for spring, summer, and generally, I just put them in piles of pretty flowers, especially the flowery ones. Now, I do want to go through the flower ones and separate them from... Um, shabby chic or um, vintage and just regular. So I wanna kind of separate those as well. And what I have been doing, if I can find one here, what I've been doing is I bought these uh, sheet protectors um, that you can get at Dollar Tree. I think I got them at Dollar Tree, Dollarama or whatever. And I put kind of things alike, like this one here is the um, cut aparts or the pieces, you know, the little, um, any cut apart, you know what I mean. You, you know, we get, we get pieces like this where we have, you know, we can cut these out. We don't want to use that for regular paper. I also had some that I had per packaging, packages that I had purchased. This one was Paw Prints on My Heart. Uh, I don't think I paid 18 or $15 for it, whatever it is. And then there's another one, so, and I had different ones. And um, this is another example of you know, cut aparts where I might not want to cut the paper, but I may want to use pieces of it. So I wanted to separate them that way. And I think I'm going to buy a couple more of these page protector things. Some of them came in like this packaging here. It's already packaged up. Came like that. So I wanted to organize my papers. And I also wanted to organize, which I have to take out of, out of this pile. Um vellum and acetate those are the big 12 by 12s that i had gotten at my multi craft store uh, i'm going to go my daughter-in-law wants to go with me on friday because they're only open friday and saturdays from 11 to 2 so i got to make the most of it um so we're going to go through and she's going to see what she might want and if they're giving any freebies away, I'm hoping they'll give freebies away. This blue one here that, that I got, I got these at Michael's. I think they were $5. This 
this one is full of, oops, there is more. I'm going to have to go see. I just took it out of my closet. So this is a lot of 12 by 12 acetate that I had picked up. So these ones are going to go in there, but I'm also going to put, I'm also going to put the vellum in here. So I thought with this Tea With Me Tuesday, I would just kind of talk about my rearranging the house and storage. Um, and I'm gonna have to go through these. See, hey, look at this, it's so cute. Look at this acetate. I don't know if you can see baby's clothes. If you happen to be doing something for babies, I just wanted to, because I noticed these. See, this is kind of a vintage and these are pop out pop out ones pop yeah they're starting to fall out what i should do is take them all out and put them into a um a different packaging but i'm just noticing that i have other things in here i've also got 12 by 12 felt most of it is acetate i have got so much acetate it's unbelievable unbelievable my favorite and they don't sell it anymore. My favorite was these. Oh, it's not showing you very well. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can get them all together here. There we go. And they're all little gifts. Now they only came in this teal color. Sorry about the glare. Um, but these ones are, um, what do they call it? Not flock. Is it flocked? Is that the term? Anyway, it's a uh, fuzzy. <laughs> it's a fuzzy feel to it. Um, I had bought a lot of them and um, used quite a few of them. But when I did, when I went back, they don't they don't have them anymore. So what they have, they have the regular ones. I've got regular ones. I've got Christmassy ones. Um, I just have so much, so much. And I wish they weren't 12 by 12 that I couldn't, <coughs> sorry, that I couldn't ship them because they're too hard to ship. Let's get rid of that. <coughs> I did bring a drink with me today. <laughs> It was kind of chilly out today, so I'm wearing a sweater. In with all my papers, I found my eight and a half by 11s, all kinds of paper here. So I was pleased to get that. I also found, see what you find when you put things, when you don't really put things away properly? These are foil um, paper, just foil sheets. Found that in there. Um, for a while, I was using, um, what do they call this? Chipboard? This is a pattern chipboard. I don't know what the purpose of it would be, but I was using these for when I was making um, booklet kind of things or boxes that I wanted to be reinforced. Um, but I never really used it. And I think I only had one left. So I've been, instead, I've been keeping the back sheets in the, when I've used a paper pad, you know, they've always got that cardboard back sheet. So I've been saving those to use. And this is my last one to go through. I've got a pile here of um, odd shape papers. I don't know if you guys remember that I had, I had picked up quite a few of these kind of odd shaped. There's round ones and square ones and I don't know where I put the rest of them. And this kind of thing where it's got a really, really cool edge on it. You know, I had, a, I had so much, so much stuff. And I thought, well, it's time for me to go through things and uh, sort through. 
I've got one sided paper. Anyway, that is what I have been doing. Now, not only, this was my afternoon uh, project because last night I stayed up until, I think it was two in the morning. These are just paper pads that I want to put in with my stack of paper pads. They're all older, but um, I want to keep these uh, Michael's paper holders uh, separate. I don't need to keep, see I've got these plaid ones. I, I loved this one. This was a whiskey barrel. It's a very masculine paper. I thought it was kind of cool. Kept that. And this is another one, Cedar Lodge, which is another masculine paper that I had made a few, um, I think, totes on things like that and men's wallets for you could put in like a chocolate bar and maybe a gift card in with it. So that's what I use that for. So now I have an empty one here and I'm going to put um, the packages in here. The loose paper, I'm going to put it back in the shelf where it was, but um, things that I have pre prepackaged or things that I bought prepackaged, I'm going to be putting it in here and that way they're nice and safe and I'll know where to go to get it. No, this is not a prepackaged. This one is the cut apart ones. So this is kind of the thing I'm talking about, you know, pages of, um, some of them are stickers and some of them are just um, pop, pop out, whatever, you know, when you get them and they pop out. But I'm not gonna put that one in there because I like to keep that separate. So that's what I've been up to. I've got things kind of organized in, in, a, in, in a sort of way, but at least they are together. You know, it's, it's more, what am I trying to say? They're more uh, organized. So that now when I want to work on a project, I'll know where to get that kind of paper that I want. So that's what I worked on today. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm telling you. I have been busy and actually, and I threw on the floor um, pieces and things and old and garbage that I didn't want. And I just grabbed, I have a whole bunch of these bags and I just grabbed one to put the paper in so I could dump this into the paper recycle downstairs. And mom was helping me. And I think she felt really good about helping me. So I I let mom help I let mom help me out there with this. I'm gonna put these in here anyway because so I'd like to get some more of these um page protectors. I I don't I think they're called scrapbook page protectors or something like that. And uh try and get some of these things. Oh here they are. These are the weird, these are the weird shape paper, papers that I got a long time ago. For those of you who are new, um, I had picked up a bunch of these. I kind of liked the edging of it. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but, you know, they're just kind of, kind of cool. And I just thought they were kind of cool. So I want to just keep those all together, all the odd shape, all odd Odd bordered. I actually have more than I thought. So I got quite a few that I don't know what I'm going to do with. But anyway, that's not what I was going to talk about. What I was going to talk about was that um, I rearranged my craft area. I took my fireplace from under the window and I've put it right in front of me. So maybe what I'll do is do kind of a quick tour. Please excuse the mess, but um, it's kind of a different chat this week. I just kind of wanted to share what I've been doing and uh, 
pretty exhausting and I didn't realize I had so much paper. So you know what that means? I'm really going to have to start crafting like crazy and start using up some of this paper and maybe start gifting it, doing some giveaways, maybe cutting them into six by six or, you know, six by 12. I don't know. I don't know. I hate cutting up 12 by 12 paper, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. So let me uh, pause for a second and I will kind of give you a tour of what I have done. As I said, don't mind the mess because I just took everything off of the floors and everything. I put a lot of stuff onto my desk. I've got some Christmas things here I was working on. So I moved that from over there in front of the door which we can't go out, we can't use, we can't go out. I wonder why that is not, oh, it is locked, okay. I was gonna say, I wonder why it wasn't locked. So that is my shelf that usually goes outside. I've kind of put all kinds of flowers in there. I kind of rearranged things. My palm is dying because it was over here and the windows are cold, I mean, and I've got everything on my my baseboard all the way around here is pretty well covered. So my African violets died because I forgot to, uh, I forgot to water them. Anyway, so uh, I just threw a whole bunch of picks and things that I got into this basket and I stuck it on there so I can grab it when I'm doing craft stuff. I don't think my lamp is flashing tonight, but if it is, let me know. <laughs> so it's just a mess. It's just a mess over here. So anyway, that's my desk. Um, this table, those are my, at the bottom of that is some of my paper pads. And I'm going to put them all there and then I'm going to sort through what I won't be using right now and put them away. I kind of kept this table here because... Uh, it was handy, kind of hiding too. It was handy to kind of throw things on. But just to show you my mess, I mean, there's papers there. There's papers there. These are two more containers. Um, I've got them sorted. I just have to label them. So there's some more papers and papers and papers and papers. And that's what I was working on all day. And this is what my living room area looks like now. I have a lot of flowers and I'm using them all in the house. Now, we used to have a really large, I'll show it to you in a second, a really large um, TV, but um, when we moved, it kind of damaged a bit at the bottom the um, picture tube or the picture or whatever and it had a whole bunch of black dots now we got used to it but i said you know what we have this extra tv that's sitting around that used to be in mom's room and mom used to like to watch tv before she went to bed but she doesn't do she hasn't done that for about two years so anyway i had two brown shelves that were the same color as these bookcases here. Um, and that's what, and I had them sitting across. So that's what the TV was on. So I'll get rid of that. Now, hold on, I'll be right back. So that is the big gigantic TV is going to be thrown out because it's no good. I mean, if somebody wants to take it and try and fix it, but you know, they're using these thin ones. This, these are old. It's old. So that is what we're getting rid of. I got rid of so much paper. I got more paper to throw out. Okay, so don't mind the mess. I have, I have got boxes to go through and to sort. So what I did was I put my two shelves against the wall where my dresser is. I've got a lamp, but I can't get at it right now. And those two small dressers, I just stack them. And I'm just throwing things on them for now as I empty each of the boxes. And hopefully have my room uh, somewhat organized. <laughs> somewhat. 
Uh, but that is what I've been up to. Anyway, so <laughs> now that I've updated you, I um, was I went downstairs and stored those big boxes of um, that I showed you in the video, the wooden scrapbook, wooden scrapbooks. The um, I gave my daughter a box full of the um, sticks with the bird cage bird house on it and the welcome signs I gave her a whole bunch of those enough for maybe two classes I think if there's 30 kids in a class so or probably more but um, I gave her those to see uh, if they wanted them and if not we can donate them just about any girls and boys club things like that so that's what I've been up to. I have really, mm, I've really been wanting to go through a lot of my craft stuff. And before I could do any more crafting, before I could do anything else, I really needed to clean up my um, craft area. Now I'm a visual person. What I see is what I know I have. So the, ikea shelves with the little containers that i got from the dollar store in them um i don't know what's in them i mean i know what's in them but i don't know what's in them if you know what i mean they're not labeled and even if they were labeled because i don't see what's in it it really bothers me and i would love to have clear containers that would fit in there if i could get a 12 by 12 by 12 <laughs> squared um, containers to fit in there or 11 by 11 whatever they whatever size they are I don't know what size it is I don't think it's 12 by 12 I think they're probably 11 by 11 or something like that but um, I mean I know it looks pretty to look at because you can't see what's in it but I need to know what's in it and because I'm not super organized, which is really weird because I was always an organized person at work. When I was doing my work, I always, I had file full colored, color coded files. Um, even at home, I had places for everything. I had file folders for important papers. I had, you know, I was organized. I mean, I was clean, just not tidy, a housekeeper, because who cares? I was always very clean, just not super tidy, but when it comes to, because I wasn't doing crafting in those days, when it comes to um, my office was totally organized. My office at work was, it, impeccable. I mean, it was immaculate. Anybody could find anything if they needed to come into my office to find something. Everything was labeled, color-coded, depending on the projects I was working on. Everything was clean. And even while I was working, I was a little messy working, but everything went into one folder once I was done the work. Now, why can't I do that with crafting? I guess because it's more, it's not paper. It's more three-dimensional stuff. But anyway, I'm really glad that I got a lot of things done. I took mom out today. Uh, we had to go pick up a few things at the grocery store and then pick up my son at work. And um, she had a pretty quiet day, but I think she was happy more because I was sitting here and she's right beside me. I think that was the big, the big thing for mom is that I'm with her, even though I'm in the same room and I'm over there. Well, maybe it's cause I got the fan there and I got the light there, maybe cause she can't see me and she thinks she's alone. I think I'm gonna move that fan. Yeah, I just thought of that just this moment, you know. Maybe that's why she felt alone because she can't see me because I'm, you know, I'm way over on the other side. We're sitting right here beside her she loved it. She loved it. And we talked, 
while I'm doing it. I mean, you know, it's not a big deal sorting through paper while I'm talking to her, you know. You just look at it, you know what you want to do with it. But I'm really pleased. Um, I have got an awful lot of Christmas paper, a lot. So I'm going to be uh, getting going on my crafts probably next week. Maybe I'll be doing, I've got a couple of things that I've already done. I think I showed you. I'm not sure if I, I taped that or not. So I know on this Tea With Me Tuesday, very little update aside from my reorganizing this room because it really needed it. Um, and I do want, I do like having the fireplace in front of me with the TV on it because in the winter when it's cold, I can put the, uh, it's an electric fireplace. So, you know, it looks like fire, but it also is a heater. So it's kind of great. I had that, I've had that for years. It's white. I was going to paint it, remember, way back when? I was going to paint all my shelves and paint paint my fireplace. I never did. I think it's because I couldn't make up my mind what color I wanted to use. And I think I'm going to, the more I think of it, the more I might go with the green that I have. But, you know, for now, I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't feel like painting right now. I don't feel like doing that. Um... Oh, and one other thing, I don't know if you remember, but a while back I had um, used my die, I think one of my word dies, to put hello or something or thanks or something on one of my cups. And I have been washing it and I've been, you know, and this was with Dollar Tree um, vinyl. And... Um, it stayed on, it's still on there and it's not coming off and I've put it in water, hot water, not in dishwasher because I don't put, I don't put these, these cups in dishwasher. Anyway, that's it for me for today. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. If you're new, I hope you will enjoy my videos. Um, I'm sometimes really regular and sometimes not. I try to I try to do a video every day, but it's not always possible. And uh, I hope you'll join our little family by subscribing. And if you do like my videos, I would really appreciate a thumbs up just to help my channel a little bit. I do appreciate that as well. And we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.